Everybody, it's Nick and we're gonna be looking at another car today and wow what a car to check out this is a 2020 Ford GT 350 and twister orange a beautiful car in my opinion I think this body style Mustang needs a brighter color to be able to see the lines uh, so yeah this is a great color uh, it's a flat color it's not like a sparkly or metallic color it's more flat it's kind of like the grabber orange that they used to do maybe back in 2009 2008 2009 uh, anyway it's a really windy fall day here in Illinois so hopefully the wind noise isn't too annoying I apologize uh, it's a nice day though it's sunny about 60 degrees uh, can't beat it for late October we were supposed to get a GT 500 in but we sold that way before it even left the plant. So I'm not gonna get a chance to do a video on a GT500. I'm kind of sad, but we got the next best thing here as somebody flies by on a Harley. Anyway, let's check this out. Uh, let's look at the window sticker first so you can see what we're dealing with here. 66,765, that includes the damn government and their gas guzzler tax at 1300 bucks. Uh, 850 the exposed carbon fiber instrument paddle 500 technology package 2000 uh, twister orange is a premium color 495 uh, the sport seats with the suede inserts also 495 uh, the GT 500 we we're supposed to get in was like a full boat hundred thousand dollar GT 500 I really wanted to look at that uh, but ah oh well this one only has 526 horsepower the voodoo engine as they call it the nickname uh i think this this one in this color would look better without the over the top stripe but your opinion might differ than mine i think it would look better in more of a uh just the orange got black spoiler in the back here cobra badges all over it quad port exhaust sounds really good of course uh, I love the wheels black Brembo calipers there big disc brakes uh, the sport brakes there uh, I like the black gloss wheels I think it looks good with the orange uh, so yeah I'm gonna probably turn this thing around before we look on the interior so the Sun isn't glaring in the camera uh, but I did want to point out here on the remote up here. So the remote, a typical Ford remote that does have the Cobra and the back. my cable and the pan cord out of the way there. But uh, they did uh, do like a different style of button. Usually Ford has these high chrome buttons. Uh, this is more like a brushed aluminum, kind of a darker color. Uh, just a little something that I noticed. Uh, but anyway, let me turn this around uh, and let's check out the inside. All right, I got it turned around. I am facing the wind now, so the wind noise might be a little bit more aggravating until I get it on the inside here. You can check out the suede inserts here on the door. Looks nice. Uh, it does have a memory driver seat there, three positions. Uh, here, we have the Ford Performance badge. Uh, it's a thin alloy that they're using for this. And uh, if you hear that, it doesn't give the most confidence boosting in terms of uh, maybe its thickness or durability, but what are you going to do? Uh, power driver seat here with lumbar. As I said, the seats here are the sport seats with the suede insert. I do like it. Nice and soft. Uh, in the back here, you got your two little wee seats, as I like to call them. Uh, in a pinch, you might be able to fit two people in there. Uh, they're not going to be very happy because, as we can see there, passenger seat is modestly pulled forward. Uh, and there's probably just enough leg room for an adult. Headroom is going to be a 
different issue altogether. So let me put the seat back here. I wish I had another hand. Steering wheel here is a sort of a suede material over the top and then leather down here. Uh, if you're only going to be driving this Mustang a couple thousand miles a year, I don't think this suede material is a problem. But if you're going to be driving a lot and you're going to be getting your oil from your hands on it and you're going to be gripping it tight, you know, because you're white knuckle driving, uh, it's probably going to wear out and flake off uh, after a long while. Six speed, very nice, uh, very grabby clutch. Uh, I would even call this kind of an easy clutch. It's not as difficult as, say, a Cobra from like 2000, which were pretty aggressive. Got toggle switches over here, push button start, USB port right there inside the center console here. Have a little rubber mat which needs to be put in properly, but another USB port in there for charging, I would assume. Let's get inside. Let me turn this on. Let me shut the door. All right. So, clutch in. Start button. Nice sound on the startup. I will do a startup uh, portion of this video. Uh, note here, little guy here. Those are not night vision goggles, though. Upon first look, you might be fooled in thinking they're night vision goggles. It's actually for the sport exhaust. It's in sport mode now. Kind of hard to hear from the interior, the difference it makes. And I'll try and be quiet as I switch it. So it's in normal now. And there it's now in sport. So I'm going to put the camera back near the back seat and see if you can hear the difference. So sport mode is deeper. Uh, and it'll probably be a much more noticeable effect as you're driving. Uh, and it does have inside the uh, driver console here, it'll tell you when you're going to normal mode, quieter, sport mode, um, definitely a deeper, throatier feel uh, and sound to it. High red line here, I think it's 8200, 8250. Uh, so this thing will scream if you're able to get on it. Two gauges up here. Uh, sadly, this is a naturally aspired V8, so no boost. You got oil temperature and oil pressure. Uh, kind of not necessary, I guess, but it looks cool. Uh, Ford does these little, on the Mustangs, they've done these forever. This sort of shutting style. Uh, Cobra badge there. Cobra badge on the steering wheel. They let you know. Cobra badge on the remote as I showed you. So just in case you forget you're driving a Cobra, uh, they remind you. So other on the toggle switches here, if you're feeling really wily, you can turn off traction control right there. Um, this is not appearing to do anything. LC, I am sorry, I am not sure. Oh, but that might be the... I was going to think the locking differential, but I don't think so. Uh, I might have to look up and see exactly what that one is for, because it's not giving any indication in here what this button does, and I'm pushing it. <laughs> so we'll figure that out. I'm not an expert on this, I apologize. Uh, heated seats, cooled seats. Got your standard Ford touchscreen here. Nothing special about that. It has navigation. Uh, to get in the reverse, it's got one of these pull-up guys here. Hey, uh, just get it over there. Got a backup camera. Uh, premium audio system, I think, in this. Uh, sounds pretty good. If I ha We've got static. That's not going to help. Uh, but if I go over to a Sirius satellite radio here, so we're in the audio, we go over to sources, uh, Sirius XM, and let's uh, turn it to a station that... Uh, is uh let's see here octane there we go you're driving a, a mustang you're going to be uh, listening to octane right as it tunes it sirius is updating now what the hell <laughs> what an inopportune time for that to happen we'll wait to see if it actually updates here uh, pretty quickly as it receives data from the satellite satellite internet uh is pretty crappy 
from what I hear. So uh, high expectations, uh, low expectations for this uh, going quickly here. So while I wait for that, standard glove box, nothing special about it. It is locking. Here's your carbon fiber exposed instrument panel. Looks good. Uh, feels nice and smooth. Auto dimming a rear view mirror here. I assume these are. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's oh. Oh my God! Now I gotta go back. Okay, so it updated and it put me all the way back. So let's go back to Octane here. Okay, Tom Petty Radio First Wave Lithium. Uh, lithium is good too. Uh, let's go to Octane. Sounds okay. Uh, I've heard better, uh, but I'm not complaining. Uh, so overall, uh, there you go. It's a 2020 Mustang GT uh, 350. Uh, beautiful car. I'd like to have one. Uh, if anybody would like to uh, donate about $66,000, uh, I would be uh, very happy. <laughs> anyway, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again hopefully soon.